My name is Maria Santos, and one of my topics in the telehealth presentation is telenursing. Telenursing has been in existence for many years. The use of the telephone has been a great and major tool for communication between nurses and clients. As new technology became available, nurses currently use telephones, faxes, computers, smartphones, iPads, voice and video interactive teleconference systems, and internet in the practice of nursing. There are many uses in the telenursing area. Here are the most common uses for telenursing. Telephone triage, follow-up calls, checking biometric measurements, education, professional consultations, obtaining test results, taking physician's orders over the phone. One of the benefits of telenursing is that home health nurses can see more patients per day through electronic house calls than what they will see via on-site visits. Telenursing currently addresses aging population, chronic disease problems, community and home-based care needs, geographic health services access problems, nursing shortage issues. There are many instances of telenursing. The ICN Telenursing Network, the International Telenurses Association. In Europe, countries like Finland, England, are developing these programs for documentation for the electronic health record. England is piloting telehealth services in the case management of patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Europe seeks to standardize the nursing communication as means to enable communication internationally. Telehealth nursing practice is now considered a subspecialty of nursing. The majority of the telehealth nurses are not certified in informatics, but it's believed that basic telehealth principles should be integrated into the basic nursing program.